guys to like go to some art so we can like cosplay a bit for fun to photo. But why I want to ask you actually because you said before you went to Japan. So and then if I'm not mistaken, you also like involved in some instruction work back then. Or oh, back then. So how was it then? Uh, with the instruction also the work back then. Okay. Okay. Okay, actually, uh, when I went to Japan, I found that actually the illustration cultural, which is a self-producing culture of Japan, is much more deep and much more, I think the level is very hard because every, almost everyone, like a little kid, they can draw better than me. And more of Yeah, that's like, that's like, uh, even on that, that's, and, uh, that's one time when a school, in the, there's a school, and, and actually it's very common for people in Japan to go and study art, later go into manga and make a living with them. And actually I found, uh, because I live in Sapporo, and Sapporo is some sort of like an education city. They also have a lot of like human academy, they regularly do free classes for everyone that have interest to study in their academy. And the academy actually provide free class and ask some illustrator like Fuji Choco. Anyone know Fuji Choco? Wow, Fuji Choco? Yes, like that. And also TNSK. TNSK, these type of people come into their school and give talk. And I love to take this advantage to go and see how people are producing. And surprisingly, when I go into the free classroom, even a 12 years old boy or even a 40 year old Obasan or Jisa also come in and listen to the class because they are trying to get input, which means the spirit of creation actually is in almost every Japanese, I would say. At almost every level of the Japanese. Oh, so so many anime is a real. Yes, yeah. uh, uh, one hour. <laughs> okay. okay. That's why I say, yeah, we really need to catch up with this. Yeah. If we want to improve the creation of our Bokoloid community in Malaysia. Uh, So I think uh, I would like to because we have a running out of short. I would like to talk more, but yeah, maybe some other time, maybe next year, maybe. Yeah, maybe. So what, first of all, I would like to like thank you all for coming, and maybe later we have a group picture, all of us together. But first, no. Uh, so our Mr. Homura Sanjay very kind enough to give some poster from his book as a free gift. But I feel like thinking cannot uh, come to Malaysia and thinking. So I would like to say, all the audience, uh, some of our panel members will ask a question related to what like. The first one that can manage to answer it uh, correctly will get one of these. Limited oh, edition. Limited edition. Lah. Get so uh, started from Omar Sanford. Okay, yeah. question. Very, very simple. What is my favorite song? Uh, I can throw it as well, right? No. Huh? No, but I have to win. Wrong. Filter it, wait. Filter it. You need to narrow it. Yeah, to narrow it. it. Okay, just now because uh, maybe sound... The, the producer. Huh? The producer. Pro producer? Yeah, the producer. No, no, no. He mentioned, he mentioned the title. The, the, title. Yeah. the title. During his introduction <laughs> session. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll give a very easy answer that many people have seen it, many people will like it. You will all agree with me. What is the song that got featured in the Google Chrome on YouTube? Oh, oh my god! I know, I know, I know! It's mine! Oh my god! 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 Thank you. <laughs> 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 
Sí, va, va, bien. Okay. Okay.